the pregnant woman's testimony that someone pushed her matches the witness testimony that you pushed her. I didn't do it! Um. Uh, I really didn't do it! What should I do? I'll be fired from my part-time job and expelled from school! Can we hang out somewhere this week? Oh, sorry. I'm a little busy this week. No, I know you are a hard worker, Arudoku. I am really sorry. I have a part-time job after school, and when I come home, I have to do housework and cook dinner for my sister, so that I have much time. I'm Alto. I am a sophomore at Soprano High School, the richest school in Japan. My parents have passed away and I live with my younger sister. I have to graduate from this school somehow in order to become rich someday and give my sister a wealthy life. You can always count on me, you know? Oh, thank you. Her name is Kanade. She is the daughter of one of Japan's leading conglomerates and the famous and beautiful student council president at Soprano High School. Not long ago, when my parents passed away and I was going through a lot, she was always there for me out of concern. A very important childhood friend. Yeah, then get an hourly job at the store my family runs. So you can be with me. Um, yes. But I also have to watch all of my record detective pony cartoons. So I still have time. Hey, is anime more important than your childhood friends offer? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to be too much of piggyback for Kanade. I think this is just the will of man with nothing to show for it. Well, I'm working part-time today too. Oh, jeez. Then, see you tomorrow, Arutoku. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Oh, I wish I could spend more time with Arutoku, but... <coughs> huh? That's Arutoku. What's wrong? Oh, Kanade, this lady is... What? This belly? Maybe... An ambulance! Oh, yeah. I already called it. Oh, here it is. This way. I'm worried about her. Uh, uh, I saw it. He pushed that woman off the pedestrian bridge. What? What do you mean? Can you come to the station and tell us what happened? What, Arutoku? Oh, no, Arutoku. Fortunately... Both the pregnant woman and the child are safe. So, did you push her? Good, good. But it wasn't me. She said she was pushed from behind by someone. It matches with the eyewitness testimony. I didn't do it. She suddenly fell down from the top of the stairs and I panicked and ran over to call 119. Well, all right. You can go home for today. What? But I'll ask you to turn yourself in again. And when I do, try not to refuse. You, you haven't cleared your suspicious about me? Impossible. The testimonies of the victim and the witness are consistent. Oh no. Well, we'll look into in detail. Go home for today. Arutokun, are you alright? Maybe I'm not okay. I heard that the eyewitness testimony and the pregnant woman's story match. Eyewitness testimony? She said she felt a shock as if someone pushed her from behind. What should I do? If I get arrested, I'll have to quit my part-time job and school. Arutokun. Uh, Leave it to me, Arutokun. Uh -huh. I will prove Arutokun's innocence. But how? Hey, look at this. Oh, isn't that the puni that's popular all over Japan? I can't afford it. So I don't have the goods. This wrapping paper? These are for gifts, right? I found it on the stairs of the pedestrian bridge. At that time, only Arutokun and the pregnant woman were on the pedestrian bridge, right? Um, yes. That's why the detective was suspicious of me. Hey, the boy who treated Arutokun like a criminal is a boy from the same Soprano High School. Oh, I remember. He's in uniform. Uh-huh. It's suspicious, isn't it? 
He called Alutkun a criminal, and this puny present fell on the pedestrian bridge. C could it be him? I'll make him regret that he put the blame on Alutkun. <laughs> Kanade-san, come back. Is he? Yes, Yuya Takahashi. He is a sophomore like us, and his father is the president of an IT company. Is he in some kind of trouble? Let's ask him. Hey, Kanade-chan, forgive me. Liar! You said you'd buy me Puni's limited edition keychain. What's this? It's settled. Let's confront him with this. Yuya Takahashi. Huh? What's with the student council present? What's with you? You're always that shady guy who goes along with her. What do you want? You? You put the blame on Naruto-kun. What? What are you talking about? This is the proof. Oh, that's... This was, you know, on the pedestrian bridge. Mm. You must have dropped this when you pushed the pregnant woman. No, oh, pregnant woman yesterday. That's what that shady guy there did. I saw it. Ah, uh, I didn't do it. Alitokun is not the culprit. This box of pony is the proof. Well, it's true that this is mine. But that doesn't mean I'm the culprit. What? Because it fell on the pedestrian bridge. So, just because I dropped this, why does that make me the one who pushed that woman? Do you have any proof that I pushed her? Um... <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's go now, Kanade. Hey, you little shady guy. Don't ever show that pathetic face again, you criminal. <laughs> sorry, Yuya-kun. Let's go, Kanade. Momo! I'm so frustrated! Alito-kun would be... Yeah, yeah, yes. I know. But surely, there's no proof that he did it. Wait for me, Alito-kun! I'll do my best to find some evidence. Oh, Kanade. Hello, it's me. Uh -huh. Well, I told Haruto-kun that, but no clue. Well, what's troubling you, young master? Oh, Tanaka. He is Tanaka. He's a peddler who has been serving my grandfather for a long time. And now he is my caretaker. He is a versatile butler who can be relied on for everything. Actually... I see. A pedestrian bridge. If it is that way, young lady, your grandfather owns a number of companies and also a transportation company. If you check the trucks, maybe... I see! A driver recorder! Exactly. Let's check the company's trucks as soon as possible. There might be something in the footage. We will find out tomorrow. Thank you, Tanaka. You were indeed dependable. Hmm. You can't count on me, Kanade-sama. Hey, Alito-kun. Maybe we can find some evidence. Whoa. Actually, I thought... That's great. Kanade, that's really helpful. Actually... I have to go to the detective's place again today. What? We'll have to be quick then. Oh no, we just need to talk. Yes, thanks Tanaka. Hey Aruto-kun, I heard he found the evidence. Whoa, really? Thank you, Kanade. <laughs> it's a piece of cake for me. <laughs> then I'll stop by Kanade's house. No problem. Aruto-kun go to the detective first. I'll be on my way as soon as I receive the memory containing the video. Oh. Don't worry. Just tell the detectives we've got the evidence. Okay then? Kanade. Hey. I'll pay you. Just follow the arrangements. Okay. This video will clear Alitoku from suspicion. Hello, Miss Student Council President. I don't want you to do anything unnecessary. Oh. How are you doing? Well, I'm just trying to make some material for negotiation. What material? Are you sure, Yuya? I'm doing what I want with such a beautiful woman. What? Yeah, if you take one or two embarrassing pictures, she'll listen to you. Yay! No, don't come closer! Come on, 
The fun's about to start. Hey, keep an eye out. Okay. Huh? What? What's up? How did you go? How did you get here? Hey, what the hell are you? Hey, hey, what are you shoddy guy doing here all alone? Don't act cool in front of woman. Huh? What? Don't you dare get carried away, you dull nerd! I haven't felt this angry since junior high school. You've got to be kidding me. Huh? Junior high school? Hmm? Oh, hey, that face. Junior high school and that white hair. No way! The, the white, white civil, civil devil! devil. No, no way! He was a junior high school student! But he crushed even high school students, that legendary one! You guys must be ready for this. Since you messed with my childhood friend. Run! Run! Uh, what? Hey, you pushed the pregnant woman off a pedestrian bridge too, didn't you? <laughs> yes, it's me. I'm sorry. I didn't push that pregnant woman on purpose. I was running to give her the puny gift I had bought earlier, but I was afraid of what I had done, so I pushed the blame on Alto-san who was there. I understand the feeling of wanting to run away and the feeling of wanting to deceive, but... You have clearly crossed the line now. To save your own ass, you tried to hurt a woman again, this time with malice aforethought, not negligence. I hope you're ready to pay the price for that! I'll do anything. Please forgive me. I see. Then... Oh, thanks to you. My wife and my baby are saved. We almost lost both of our lives. You're overreacting. Not at all. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> I should. Hey, don't cry. Aritokun called the ambulance for me. Thank you. Altokun. I believe you are still in high school. If you need anything in the future, you can always call me. Super Bank? The CEO? You were the CEO of that number one IT company in Japan? What? That's great! Amazing! It's a very big company that now controls all the mobile carrier networks in Japan. They are famous for their commercial using Pony. Actually, I have a business relationship with the Takashi family. I've decided to have take them full responsibility for this incident. <laughs> well, I guess it's just rust from his own body. Hey, don't make high school students travel up. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Huh? That's somehow like Arutoku. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. Mm -hmm. What's wrong, Kanade? Oh, is something wrong? No, nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> 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 hey, by the way, why did you tell Yuya-kun? Oh, that was to tell him to keep quiet about me being a silvery white demon. To talk to the police properly. And also to apologize to the pregnant woman. Oh, that's good. But be careful. If people find out that Aldekun is a silver demon, you might be expelled from school in the worst case. Uh, I'm sorry. But Kanade was attacked, so I couldn't help it. Oh my goodness. It's not fair. But thank you. No. Thank you too. Oh, by the way, what happened to the video evidence after all? I gave that to the detective properly. Yuya and Yuya's father were at the police station with the detective. And the detective gave them a big beating. You are a coward. You know that? I've got evidence too. Let's arrest you, huh? I'm sorry. I am really sorry. Leave the life on the right track. Well, that can't be helped. Hey, Yaritakun, I wonder if I'll have a child someday and get pregnant too. What? 
I can't imagine how it's like. I'll protect Kanade then. I'll be there for you no matter what. I'll be there for Kanade. What? Hey, hey, Aritakun! What do you mean by that? Oh, sorry, Kanade. I'm late for my part time job. So, here I am. See you tomorrow. What? Wait, Aritakun! Hey, Aritakun! What did you mean what you just said?